Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and showing you some swatches of the new Too Faced Chocolate Gold eyeshadow palette. Ooh. Now apparently there is a chocolate gold collection but as far as I'm aware so far this is the only thing that has been released in the UK. So for those of you that do live in the UK I bought this from the Too Faced store, the only Too Faced store in the UK, which has recently opened on Carnaby Street in London, just off Oxford Circus. I went there a few days after it opened, so I was very lucky that I was able to get my hands on this. Here's the little bag I got with it. Oh, look at it. Ain't it cute? Look at that. Too Faced London. I wonder what's inside. <laughs> oh, there's another one. That's Selena's Miss Beauty Addict of YouTube. And I may have picked up something else as well. This is the Clover Clover palette. Is that what it's called? Yes, the Clover palette. So it's a very multicoloured kind of palette. It is so cute. If you guys want a review on this, let me know. This was exclusive to the Too Faced store in Carnaby Street. So the chocolate bar palette itself costs £39 and it is limited edition. The store is absolutely gorgeous. Typical Too Faced cute with loads of sparkles and pink everywhere. Places for you to take pictures. The staff was super helpful and let me snap all over the place. So follow me on Snapchat and you would have already seen my entire haul that I did. And then this is the actual palette itself. My apologies, my fingerprints are all over it. I would not do well trying to cover up a crime. I tried to wipe them off, it didn't really happen. So basically, it looks like a chocolate bar on one side and then melted chocolate on the other side and then in typical Too Faced fashion it is in a very sturdy tin now all together you get 16 eyeshadows four of which are matte so the rest are all shimmery metallic shades now this is a very decadent eyeshadow palette this is not for your everyday kind of looks this is definitely for going out for parties for going for intense makeup looks that sort of thing so if you're looking for something which is very soft and neutral and simple this palette is not for you these shades are rich luxurious jewel type shades very very uh holiday type very christmassy very party and that sort of thing so this is what it looks like up close my apologies if my lights keep bouncing off of it it's because it's metallic and it's not matte so the lights are just shining off of it so just what they say on the back of the box which has got the description on it take decadence to the next level with a luxurious gold and cocoa powder infused eyeshadow palette that smells as good as it looks so it's just like the chocolate bar palette it smells exactly the same i personally love it, it says have a major metallic moment with foiled shadows that are created with real gold for an epic high shine finish that's paired with rich sedu seductive mattes for coffee to cocktails wear that that's grammatically incorrect okay for coffee to cocktails wear isn't it to wear to coffee and cocktails okay all shadows feature a soft velvety texture with a soft with full coverage payoff all shadows feature a soft velvety texture will with full coverage payoff the entire palette is infused with skin loving cocoa powder for a decadent chocolate scent so what are my thoughts are of this eyeshadow palette i love it i give it a 10 out of 10. it has been a very long time since Too faced have come out with something that has really impressed me i mean normally their chocolate range of their eyeshadow palettes i've been really happy with i love the original i love the semi-sweet one the sweet peach one is in the same sort of family as in it's it looks the same it's in the same sort of tin but it doesn't really cover the chocolate side of things so this is the next one out and that's why they've done it as a limited edition so that it's just basically for the holidays personally i think it's excellent i think that the mattes are beautiful they're soft they're easy to blend they're pigmented and they don't kick up too much dust it's very very easy to blend these eyeshadows out the metallic shades on the other hand are very strange now when i touch them they feel kind of gritty and when i look at my brush it doesn't look like much has been picked up because it's so gritty but the particles that have attached itself to the brush when i apply it to the lid it's like oh my god it's there's so much pigment there they're so intense and i have to admit when i was taking photos of my eyeshadow palette as i do i take photos of my new makeup so i can post it on instagram and as a thumbnail on here etc i dropped it from a height and it was open and i dropped it upside down 
cue me praying to the makeup gods that I picked it up and it was still still completely 100% intact so it has been packed in very very well and I think a lot of that has to do the reason and I also think that the reason it didn't break is because these are not soft and buttery I mean it doesn't say anything it just says major metallic moment with foiled shadows created with real gold and it doesn't really mention anything about those metallic shadows themselves but personally, I think that these are really, really good quality foiled shadows. A little bit goes a really long way. And you also don't find that, you know, with other more buttery foiled shadows, when you place your eyeshadow brush on top and rub it, it almost leaves a slight dent, a little indent in there. It doesn't happen with this because not a lot of, uh, not a lot of powder actually comes off onto the brush anyway. So I find that to be actually a really good thing. So even though it feels slightly gritty when you touch it, and it appears that way when you put it on the brush when it actually touches your eyelids and you blend it so much comes off so a little bit of these go a really really long way i like the breakdown of shades they are very festive very christmassy you can i think this will work perfectly on all skin tones i don't think that there is anyone that will will not be happy with this the matte shades is like a kind of a caramel soft brown and then a slightly darker brown and that is basically so you have something in your like as a transitional shade and then there is a typical black so you can darken it and then they've got this really big one here which is called rolling in the dough which is like a soft ivory shade that's almost like a shade to use to blend out other shades so they haven't focused a lot on matte shades here they've definitely focused more on the more metallic foiled shades so if you do want a palette which has got a very big equal mix of foiled and mattes you may not like this obviously what's going to happen is the most used shades will be these two browns and you will finish those first because most people tend to use a matte shade in the crease to give definition to the eye you don't apply a bright pink to the crease because it will basically not look right because light will reflect off of it and it will give the illusion that you've got flat eyes rather than a rounded eyeball where you're trying to create dimension and curves I think there are lots of beautiful golds in it. I really like the fact that they have kept to the name of it, chocolate gold. So there's like a bright yellow gold, a deeper gold, a bronzy gold, a more neutral gold. There are loads of different types of golds. And then they've thrown in a couple of extras, like a foresty green, a deep mouldy green, a purple, a pink, a silver. I mean, pretty much all the colours that you would associate with the festive season are in this palette. So personally, I give this palette a 10 out of 10. I think it's excellent from the point of view of how it looks just when you open it how pretty it is but also how excellent the quality of these eyeshadows are as well so what I'm going to do now is I am going to swatch them all for you just so that you can see them up close and it will be a finger swatch which is obviously very different to applying it with a brush so bear in mind it's going to be one thick swipe just so that you can see what the color itself looks like but in terms of using it with a brush you will have absolutely no issues whatsoever so this first shade here is called Money Bags, and as you can see, it is an intense Christmassy green metallic shade. This massive shade in the middle is called Chocolate Gold. I assume the reason it's so big and so is that one is because they are the ones that they believe people will use the most. That's actually what I'm wearing on my eyelid today. And as you can see, it is a very intense yellow gold, like a typical Indian bridal gold. This one here is called Rich Girl. And this one is an intense silvery taupe shade. I'm using this on my brow bone today. This one here is called Cocoa Truffle. And this one is one of the matte shades. It is a beautiful, soft, muted chocolate brown. Beautiful to use in the crease. It's not too pale and it's not too dark. And then this last one here on the end is called Decadent. And then this one is a standard matte black. It's fairly easy to blend, maybe slightly patchy, but it's still not too bad. Okay, on to the next row. This one is called Love and Coco. Honestly, this one is one of my favourites. It's the most beautiful foiled chocolate brown shade. It's absolutely stunning and it's so, so, so soft and pigmented. This one here is called Old Money. This one is another foiled shade. This is this one is more of a kind of an orangey brown. Really pretty and very intense. This pink shade here is called New Money. 
This one I have to say is probably one of the more poorer performing ones. It's quite sheer and it's a bit gritty. It's a lovely kind of pink with a hint of lavender to it. But I definitely think it's one of those ones you will have to layer it. Because as you can see it is not as intense as the other two. And it's still kind of sheerish. This one here is called Famous. And this is more of a classic gold shade. Really pretty and intense and pigmented. This one here is called Classy and Sassy. This one is more of like a rose gold shade. This one is sheer-ish. But it's still not as bad as the new money, the pink one. And then the last one here on the end is called So Bougie. And this one is so pale on my hand you can barely see it so I had to layer it twice. But it's a very pale, soft, pale caramel shade. Really gorgeous to use as a transitional shade as that's what I did today. And when you layer it, it really shows up beautifully and it works amazing to blend out other shades. I'm right, moving on to the final row. This shade is called Holla for a Dollar. Don't quite sound right me saying it with my British accent, does it? Holla. <laughs> oh my God, this shade is amazing. It's like an olive, deep olive green, but with gold flecks in it. It's so pigmented and buttery. It's stunning. This shade here is called Gold Dipped. And this one is another beautiful gold. This one is a very pale gold and it's very pigmented and high shine. It's stunning. This one here is called Live in Lavish. This one is a beautiful purple shade with hints of pink to it. I don't know. I somehow don't feel that it's got the same quality of texture as the two beneath it. I feel that this one will be quite sheer when applied. So you may have to layer it like the pink one. This one here is called Dripping Diamonds. Wow, the name says it all really. Look at it. That is a super intense high shine silver. Stunning. And then the last one on the end is called Rolling in Dough. And this one is a matte, very pale ivory shade. This I use all over my eye to neutralize my eyes, which I will do every time I use it so I can understand why they used it as such a big pan. It's another one of those shades which you can use to blend out other shades. Especially if you've got fairer skin and you don't want to use the caramel tones. So that's it for my review and swatches of this beautiful little guy. I love it. There are one or two hit and misses, but not enough for me to justify saying that the palette is awful. Don't get it. It's very rare that you can come across an eyeshadow palette where every single eyeshadow is 100% spot on. Now the ones I did mention that weren't that great... They're not that good, but they're not rubbish. So you can still work with them, which is why I'm happy to give this palette full marks. I think that everybody will love it. I think there is so many different makeup looks you can come up with. I don't think a single person, when they receive this palette or decide to buy it or get it as a gift, will hate it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, what else can I say? I'm actually wearing a Too Faced lipstick today. I am wearing Gingerbread Man, so that's the limited edition one for the holidays. And this entire makeup look, I have actually filmed for you guys as well, because I know it's been forever since I did a makeup tutorial, and I did use this eyeshadow palette to create this look. Like I said, this really intense yellow gold shade here called Chocolate Gold is what I'm actually wearing on my eyelids. So hopefully you will enjoy that tutorial once you get to see it. But other than that, I hope you guys are wonderful. I hope you're great. I hope, you're, I hope you're having a fabulous December so far. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you are going to get your hands on it. Oh, my earrings are from Topshop for those of you that would like to know. And oh, my rings, which are just the cutest ever. They're a pack of three. This is a Holly. It's a Candy Cane Heart and a Rudolph. They are from H&M because tis the season after all. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye.